Zambilodidi, and it's such a joy for me to welcome a top Kenyan musical talent. We first got to know him as a member of the group Le Band, and now he's one of the hottest talents among this new generation of singers, songwriters, <laughs> performers. He's just dropped a fantastic debut album, which is called The Motions. Everything from sensual ballads to Roomba-influenced dance <laughs> songs, such a yeah. wide range of sounds and styles and collaborations with some very big names. We'll chat about his career, the album, and in the course of that, enjoy the music, of course, but a self-introduction is in order. Yes, uh, welcome, guys. My name is Charisma, a.k.a. Luya Heat. Um, I'm a singer, songwriter, performer from Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, just someone who loves the arts, who loves the music. Uh, yeah, someone who loves being a creative also. Wonderful. So why, uh, why the stage name Charisma? I mean, just for interest. I mean, I mean. Well, so what's what's the official name? So my my official names are Fidel Shama, Fidel Eli Shama Omusula. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Those yeah. four names. That's yeah. the name that appears on the ID. On my ID, <laughs> on my yeah. birth certificate, yes. um, everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So those are my names. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Charisma, because um, when I was in was it high school and coming out of high school, people used to say you have so much charisma. You have so much charisma. You just move crowds. You get into a room and people gravitate towards you. And a boy of mine just started calling me charisma, charisma for a while. And then you know how when a name starts, one person starts something and then it becomes something everyone decides they, they will use. That's just how it started. And I was like, okay, that's fine then. Okay, charisma. And I liked it and I was like, cool. Yeah, yeah. That, that that sort of explains when I saw you walking into the building. Yeah, uh, oh, that's a superstar. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> you got to stand out. Aura, yeah. Yeah. Aura. <laughs> Aura. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. So congratulations on the album. Thank you, you know, so much. I've listened man. to the tracks four, yes. five times, six yes, times. Yes, thank you. And it's got so much depth as yes. the maker of the music. How do you feel about the outcome of the whole project? Do you know, I've I was uh, talking to a couple of friends a couple of days ago, and I was saying like a lot of times when I make music, I I struggle with listening to my music after I've released it because most of the times you as an artist you've listened to the song so much while they're in studio yeah mm -hmm. uh, but for this particular album even right now a couple of weeks after like two three weeks after I'm still bumping to the tracks as if they're not my songs Wow! like I'm really <laughs> jamming to the songs in my car is the only thing that's playing consistently so like that's, that's so cool to be so confident about yeah, your own yeah, work yeah. and to enjoy your work yeah you know I think I that think doesn't happen to everybody everybody I yeah. think it's just important like the fact that I listen to the songs and I still relate with them and love them the same way Mm -hmm. many months after because it's a project i i started one year ago and and it's morphed into some it's really my life you know and i think that's why i really love this project and that's why i vibe with the songs i think most people are also vibing with it because of how relatable it is for a lot of young guys and even older guys so yeah i, I really i really really like the project and how it came out from That's, from the album yeah, cover, from yeah. the cover art to yeah. the songs, I love everything. Yeah. yeah. What, what did you do about that? Uh, what did you or the artists that you work with do yeah. about that album cover? Because yeah. it's got a you know it's sort not, of very artistic sort of look to it. Yeah, it's not yeah, a painting. Yeah. It's, it's not, not a, a painting. Yeah. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. So the, it, the the thing is the the person who made the when we had the meeting with the guy who did the design, his name is Kid Volt, proper proper designer. I sat down with him and I went, I told him like I want my album cover to portray what this album is about. And the album, The Motions, is about the things that a young person goes through in their life and um, how life is not linear while you're young. There's no stability. You don't, you've not figured out anything, you know. Mm -hmm. um, like, you don't know what tomorrow is going to be because you're still kind of figuring your own path and you don't know if you're going to be in love today or it's out of love or mm -hmm. hate the person you love. Do you know mm -hmm. all those things? So he was like, okay, I have an idea. I have this idea of doing a photo shoot with you. And instead of just putting your picture in front of uh, as the cover art, we'll use the words, a lot of words from the album that you've used in the songs or themes that you've used in the song mm. to like kind of construct your, 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 your face and whatever on the art. And I remember he sent it to me and it was crazy. We were just, I was like, wow, I'm mind blown. So even when we put out the cover art, I think that's one of the first things when we put out, everyone loved. Like the reaction to the cover art, Mbakane Lukwatuzil as a guy, I hope I hope the album is as great <laughs> as their cover art because I hope they don't like the cover art and then the album yeah. is out and they're like, oh. Yeah, it's important to clear yeah. the, the first impression yeah, matters yeah, a lot. Yeah, but yeah. The, that first impression <laughs> really matters. Yeah, yeah. really, really put, uh, put us there. Yeah, let's pick yeah. a track from the album to give listeners a flavor yeah. of what the music let's sounds go. like. Uh, what, what, what shall we go with first? Um, I think let's start with the first song I love uh, the ballady vibe of let you know 
I'm, I'm just yeah. That's, a, that's like a proper grown-up song. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one <laughs> was for the criers. Yeah, really grown up, yeah. Yeah. This one's people <laughs> from crying. Let you know that's charisma. It's song one on uh, the album yes. Emotions as a saying yes. grown-up song, romantic ballad, yes, heartfelt lyrics. Yeah. And some classical instrumentation there yes. on the bridge, huh? yes. and then there's a choral verse. Yes. Oh my goodness! Like Thank this, you. Is, like this is a body of work. You, know? yeah. you can tell I've listened to the music, right? <laughs> yeah, I can tell that he has gone through the project properly. <laughs> now, listen. So it's so funny that you say grown-up music, and I think because when I was writing this song. What I was thinking about is when I was younger, like much, much younger. <laughs> I mean, you're not even 30 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so I, like, I mean, I mean, like younger, back to your, to your younger for or... six, the teenage years. Yeah, yeah. You know how when you're getting into relationships, a lot of I don't want to say everyone because I don't know what everyone is like. But for me, when I was getting into relationships for the first time, or kind of ch putting my foot into those waters, I was very innocent. You know. Like I believed this girl that I'll meet will love each other forever. She'll be the love of my life from day one. You know, I believed in those fairy tale things for meeting a girl at 16 or at 15 and then we become the love of each other's lives. So everything was very, and that's why it's song one on the album where I felt like, Yanni, I was just a young, innocent boy, pure vibes. I wanted to love. So that's what Let You Know was about. So it start, it's, the journey starts there. Like a pure dude who's just like, you know, this is what I want to do. And this is who we are. We're gonna be like this forever. I pray for you every night. You know, that was the vibe for for the first song. Wow, yeah. we, all, we all go through these phases in life. Yeah? Imagine, so <laughs> brilliant charisma hey. from his new album, The Motions. Yeah, and charisma himself is here. Charismatically yes. speaking, about uh, excellent new <laughs> songs you, on on this album. Yes, you, you got a very distinct voice, and I was just sharing yeah. with you yeah. the feedback from uh, Guido Kibukosi, who's such a yeah. legendary producer. Yes, yes. When I shared the album with him, that's the first thing he said. That guy's got a voice. Thank enough. you, I man. Mean, Thank you. Yeah. Um, do you know what? I've I've never. I've, and I your talking voice sounds very much like the singing voice. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, it wasn't always like this. Like I think I've had to try and train my voice a lot because I didn't start singing like most people when they were young. I I became a singer when I was out of high school. Yeah. I, I used to play rugby and I broke my collarbone completely, and so I had to stop playing rugby. Uh, and what happened is. And those people who just need something to do. Mm -hmm. So we were doing a church concert, and I was the head director. I used to act. Now that's the <laughs> thing I've done for the longest for, for a longer time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so even as an entertainer, I always thought maybe. Um, first of all, I always wanted to be a wrestler because I had no talent before <laughs> I finished high school. She wanted to uh, be a wrestler. Yeah. So I was like, because <laughs> I always knew I wanted to be an entertainer. Yeah. And back in the day, the Stone Colds, the Shawn Michaels, yeah, the, the, yeah. the Rocks, those people yeah. were, they were, now if you want to talk about charisma, oh, yeah, yeah, they were really those guys yeah. were ridiculous. Yeah, They'd hold yeah. a mic and you'd just be like, wow. Yeah. You know? So yeah, Monday evenings on oh, TV was, uh, was special, KBC. Yeah. yeah. I remember we used to camp eight. After that, let me tell you, after wrestling, watch KBC. By nine, my dad go sleep. <laughs> School tomorrow. That's the only thing we're allowed to watch. If there's no wrestling, we're sleeping at eight. Wow. Yeah, but anyway, wow. so like, um, I was forced into singing because I was the head director for the concert and the, the dudes didn't want to sing. You know how young dudes are? Oh, singing is for girls. I was the same way. So I was forced as the head director, go sing just to hype them so I, they feel like, you know, because mm -hmm. they look up to you and stuff. Most of them are like, if you're doing it, they would do it. So I went and sang, and someone said, "You're not actually that bad. You, you can if you if you work on your voice, mm. you can." And I remember I just started uh, going for m music practices, and that's I just matured my voice and grew it and grew it pole pole. I don't think it's even at its 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 peak. I'm I'm still trying to figure out a lot yeah. of things. I, I want to be better and better and better. So just keep putting in the work. Yeah, yeah. And that's such a story because, yeah. like in life, all you need is someone to give you a little bit Nudge. of confidence, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And, and there you go. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So you've explained what the motions is all yes. about. Yes. Uh, and why you've named this project The Motions. How, yeah. how long has the project taken? What, what did you enjoy most about the experience? What yeah. were the challenges that kept you up at night during the process? Jeez. Um, the project took us like a year. Honestly, one one whole year. Because we started it in July of last year and ended actually around the same time, June or July. Um, the thing I loved most about the process was just working with other creatives. Um, getting to work with other talented artists in my field, be it singers, instrumentalists, producers, that was really dope. And we traveled um, 
to the coast for a writing camp, mm-hmm. which was really dope. We were just creatives, like we were just in the coast to have fun and write music. That was a really dope experience for me because I never thought in my wildest dreams my music would be, I would be able to do a writing camp just in the coast. We ju- we're just going to make music, you know. Uh, so that was really cool. You didn't c- get carried away by the pleasures of oh, uh, no, the that, coast. And, and so, oh, that was yeah, part of the process yeah, as well. I mean, yeah. it was part of the process, but the main focus was the music and the, the purpose of going for a writing camp in many ways is just to kind of get rid of the distractions mm-hmm. you know so mm-hmm. the distractions are not a part of it mm-hmm. that were, like we were we knew the the core our core business there was the music so it was very productive i would say um i think that right because the writing the writing so, took so uh, how many how many were you we mm-hmm. were we were three mm-hmm. myself uh, an amazing artist from Atendaeli called Uya Tajiri and my producer so fresh um, oh Uya yeah yes Uya is amazing oh, he's really good. brilliant I, I brilliant I had a song musician. that he did with uh, Omale uh, with Costo no yes, the, the Omale with Costo Juang yes and on the album yes and on the new album by the the Kenyan girl from Australia Elsie Wameo yes uh, yes yes they have yeah. a dope uh, the video is really really good blowing really good Oh. Elsie's video, videos are ridiculous. Yeah, they're amazing. They're amazing. Oh my goodness! But yeah, yeah. So like we we so just you're with and and and, who and so fresh our producer. Oh, oh yeah, okay. So that's your producer. Yeah. We had yeah. such a brilliant time, man. We made music. Th- that one week we did more in terms of writing music and producing than we had done in like the previous six months. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was really dope. The challenges, of course, financials uh, struggles. Albums are expensive. Albums are super super expensive. Um, and also we just we had timelines that we we, we wanted to do this tra- uh, album for uh, but at times we weren't able to meet the timelines and the deadlines just because of different factors uh, my producer so fresh lost his um, um, they lost the, the, the mother the, the, his girlfriend's um, mm. um, mom mm. just in the middle of the writing camp so that stopped he had to travel back to Nairobi like it was just th- stuff this, was this, happening yeah, yeah there's yeah, a couple and yeah. it's life I guess yeah, it's yeah. life in general it's things everyone goes through uh, so those things kind of hampered the progress a bit but I mean um, ultimately I think the, the timing was right when it ended and when it was released the timing was right yeah. yeah, it's uh, time to go back to the music. What, yes, what, what are we picking? What's the second song that we're going to pick uh, from now? I think we should go with the song, because we mentioned Uaya, let's yes. go Omale with Costa and Uaya. You're so smart because we put the casa right there. Yeah. Song number eight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's a great song. Yeah. Super song. Great, super song. Super <laughs> song. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow, such a strong collaboration. Thank you, two, man. Two excellent vocalists. Yes. You, you three are, are a match because you got fantastic Thank you. voices. And Thank you. Lyrically, it just flows from English to the Yeah, to the Luo, yeah. 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 Some, some and this this Luo boys, know? man, this yeah. Luo boys are killing us. <laughs> oh, they're so talented. The Okello Max, yeah. Costa Juang, Yaya, yeah. all, all of them are so brilliant, man. Yeah. And really good. And there's some real authenticity about the way they sing, yeah. you know, the way they enunciate the language. The if you know the language, it's because they really know the language. Like it's, so, it's wonderful. They're they're not reading it. It's there's a time we were just chilling very authentic in the, in the house. Yeah. These guys are speaking in Lu, and I had to remind them. Do you guys know I don't? I can't understand anything any of you is saying. But like, they really, really love their language, and they've made it pop. You know, they've made it pop music, and people really, really love how they sound uh, because they've made the Luo really pop. You know, so it's dope. It's dope that they're that doing that about the the culture right now. Yeah, it's yeah. so fantastic, and and yes. it makes you see how rhythmic yeah. our languages uh, are. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so Charisma, yes. the album is called The Emotions, the Emotions. 2024 album. Yes. I mean, it's so good to see all these quality albums. We spoke about yes. Elsie Wameo, and, and then I've got your album. Yes, Ben Soul had ben released Soul. an album two weeks ago. Album, yeah, yeah. No, well, no, like four weeks ago, yeah. The legendary Octopizo's got an album oh, coming yeah, coming, out. Oh, man, yeah. yeah. So, Redi- man, crazy business. It's, I mean, Bien so good. did so the good deluxe thing. album yeah. the other day. Bien is doing so much for our industry. Like, the, the doors Bien is opening for urban pop musicians is is incredible like right now 
I saw his his song is still charting in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. I think it's I in saw him do an interview in, in, in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he's in, in the for top five. Yeah. Um, Wahala is yeah. top five in Nigeria, which yeah. is which is a, a difficult market to penetrate. My but. God, we have <laughs> never charted in Nigeria, even number ninety nine. We have never. He's <laughs> yeah. top five. Yeah, yeah. What what does that make you see the possibilities you see, that that uh, exist for your music? Exactly. So the the thing is, when Bian does something like that, it, and and I've always said like Saudi Soul. Let me not even just say Bian. What Saudi Soul did as singers and as a group always made me and a lot of singers who were coming up feel like listen this thing is possible we can actually make a living out of our talent we can go we can go to all these places we've dreamt of flying to and performing at out of our music you know and then i see beyond chatting i realize it's not impossible mm. because before no one had chatted so like it was like you talk about it someone would say hey apana no mm. no one can ch- no kenyan can chat in nigeria but now it happened meaning there's actually ways to do it so it's just they're kicking down those doors and i hope we as ken as kenyan artists we can keep doing it because it it we really want to be on the map we want to be put on that level that the nigerians are because i believe we have the talent maybe it's the business aspect of the music we've not yet sharpened enough but i think we're heading there have you analyzed uh, what it is have you have you benchmarked i'm sorry yes. to use a tired yes. word but you know yes. no no no, no <laughs> have, have you have you have you have you seen what the trends are you know yeah yeah there's a couple of things these guys are doing like for the longest time i never knew that um Nigerians were paying TikTok guys in Kenya to do songs. Like I always thought these guys just love the Nigerian songs yeah. and they're dancing to the songs because they love them. Kumba, these guys have budgets for our TikTokers and me, I'm here waiting for my TikTokers <laughs> in Kenya to just so, like my uh, Hang on a second, how does that work? Like you Bro, so you, you literally pay... you come up with a challenge. Yeah. yeah. So you have a challenge on YouTube, uh, on TikTok. And what you need is ten of the bigger of the big TikTokers to do the challenge. Not even ten, like five. So you have an Aziad, an Ajib, a uh, Kolo dance, what is that? Kolo dancer. Those are all big TikTokers. Yes. Yeah. If those five people do the trend with the big followings they have, everyone else wants to, to do them. You know how the, this generation is like? They like doing things that their celebrities mm-hmm. are doing. Five people make a song that had no challenges on TikTok. All of a sudden, it has around two twenty thousand uh, challenges. I saw. Um, what's his name i'm forgetting the name of this nigerian guy black something i i don't know his name i'm forgetting i know kenyan music mm-hmm. i don't know this <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah anyway what but is he the was story? doing a collab with crazy kenna yeah and i was like can i listen to this guy like i would you know you, i'd never have thought but i was like man that's when it hit me i was like black black boy eh? that, that bones one. black bones yeah, yeah that mm-hmm. one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they did the thing with Kenna, and that's when, listen, and Kenna never said anything to any of us, but I was like, I, this has to be business. Yeah. And, you know, it just made me realize those are the things us guys have slept on. And I don't, I, don't, I tell people, I'm not, I don't, I don't recommend paying for anything, for play and all those things. But, unfortunately, we're in business. And if you want to sell your product, at times you have to use money in order to make that money. Those Nigerians are paying everywhere to be played. You yeah. know, they're paying our Kenyan DJs to play their music. How, how do you ensure the sustainability of that? Because, you know, beyond the 15 minutes of fame, oh, 15 minutes is all you need to right. do. So I think at times you just need that 15 minutes. So listen, <laughs> if you have a good product, if you pay, if, if it's not getting to platforms, if you pay to get it to those platforms, if it's a good product, people will see it. And that's the most mm-hmm. important thing. Mm-hmm. If they see the so good product, it, it, it takes it us back there. then to having a good product. Exactly. Need, yeah. So that's the most important thing. Have and a good Nigerians product, have and then, a good product. And then work around the, the business, the business yeah. element so of it. Yeah. I, I think, and that's why I said, I think Kenyan musicians just need to get the point where we, we, we kind of sharpen the music, not just the music, realize that it's music business. And if it's music business, yeah. there's a product so you have the product here. So how do I sell my product? I think that's where we we kind of fall short. But I think we're figuring out uh, it out because we're starting to realize if we don't do this, we're falling back, you know. So it's yeah. Coca Cola has their drink sour. How do we make sure everyone is drinking this drink? Because if they stay with it, it could be a good drink, great. But if no one knows about it, no one will ever drink it. 
So you, that's why they put so much into marketing. And you have it's a same thing. you have a product, fantastic ten yes. fantastic songs. Yes. So you just need to figure out oh, how yeah. it is that's, that Nauza Nico Ah yeah 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 yeah. The entire product yeah. will will go as far as it deserves it, to go. It deserves to go. And I think I like that you started by the introduction saying I was part of a group Le band because when I started in the group I was I was fairly I was younger I was in my You're teens young, I like, was yeah. I was in my early twenties for the better part of my career then. Mm. And we did well, you start you you're studying law at that time yes i was still in law school yeah in fact i finished law school and the, but when i finished law school i think the next year i just took one year and i became a solo act uh um and there's a lot of things i've learned i learned being in the band that i've used for my solo career because i was so green and i know that's the case for a lot of artists i was so green and we didn't have direction and no one was aiding mm, us mm. but i think being in the band made uh, these mistakes we made that i didn't want to make as a solo artist one of the mistakes i'll say openly and i've said in a lot of interviews is we were not ready for the moment so our song blew up and it went and it went and we started chasing the industry because we were young we were impressionable we didn't know what to do so we did whatever anyone told us to do so what song was that was that number one yes yes uh, and it was literally called oh, number one it was <laughs> number and it blew <laughs> That song blew up and we were never ready for it because the songs we had been doing before were doing 500 views. Mm -hmm. Like we were just watching us and our parents. <laughs> All of a sudden we have the number one trending song in the country. We're like, God damn it. What, what, is, what do we do next? Yeah. So we just took everything from everyone and we were never prepared for the opportunity and now we are and we didn't understand the music business. We didn't understand the things we needed to do to push our song. Like even number one just went. We don't mm -hmm. know what happened. Mm -hmm. People ask me, Mali, don't you I'm like, hey, guys, If I knew, I wouldn't have suffered all these years I suffered. I would have done it immediately after hits, 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 you know. Um, so I think there's a lot of things I learned then that have helped me now. And I think I'm still, I, not I think, I'm still learning so much. There's always so much you can learn and consume. Um, so yeah. So can we just remember, remind ourselves of what number one sounded like? It was, yeah. a, it was a collaboration, right? Yes, it, it was uh, Leban and Suzia. Suzia, yeah. So the chorus was, Call me your number one. Baby, you can call me your superman. Chuchotu tatakani takupa ma. You're my girl. Call me your number one. Baby, you can call me your superman. Chuchotu tatakani takupa Nitakupa. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> so yes. Uh, you were just enjoying yourselves, isn't it? Right. <laughs> we you were just <laughs> having fun, honestly, when we were young. Yeah. And like, and listen. But you you don't see it as a wasted opportunity because you are we learned. You know, there are lessons from you know, from there. We learned, and that's why you are who you are today. Right? Exactly. And we were young. We were getting paid. Girls loved us. Like. Especially, e especially that, that part. That, that last part, yeah. <laughs> the girls part when you're 21, 22, and you go on stage and girls are just screaming for you. It can confuse you. Mm. Um, and I'd want to say this to every artist who's just making their way into the industry. Stay grounded. Those things will, will continue for the rest of your career. But if, let me, I look at it now and I'm like, I don't know why we used to behave like... It, it was ending, you know, it's like I always say, have you ever bashed with like teenagers? If they buy a bottle, they want to drink the thing so quick, you're like, Kwani, <laughs> you know, Kwani mnadhani, sini nyinyi tu mnaikunywa, pole pole. So that's how it was with us yeah. and the girls. It was like we were enjoying like uh -huh. those girls were ending in the world. <laughs> that's what it means to be yeah, young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the emotions. <laughs> the emotions, yeah. Let's go back to the emotions. Yeah. Uh, what, what song are we playing from the emotions next? Oh yeah. man, I, what, what, um, what do trust you feel like? issues. I'm, I'm Feeling, I'm feeling like uh, let's show the people the sad side of love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is with Ben Soul, ben Soul. Right? yeah. My brother from another mother. Yeah, trust issues. Yeah. Nenda lote mama. It reminds yeah. me of that Saudi Soul song, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Nenda lote mama. <laughs> Ben Soul uh, joining Charisma on yeah. trust issues. That, that's down tempo. Really interesting. Yeah. What's what's the mood going on in that song? Yeah. So for trust issues, it's just I think most young guys and actually everyone has been, or rather most people have been in the situation where your your partner just doesn't trust you. Like regardless of how <laughs> real you're being with them and how much truth you're telling yeah. them, they're just like, no, man, I don't believe you. You're out with other girls, and I think for for us musicians, si ushukui wa bure. People just decide that we're bad people because girls scream for us at concerts. 
even when you don't uh, listen but, guys but, but that's your office that's yeah you, you, that you, notion you, you people have of uh, <laughs> musicians just have girls everywhere it's a lie in fact we don't have girls at all <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> yeah the rumor said for, no <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah it's just it's just about um people in relationships and how people don't trust each other and it takes a toll on a lot of relationships i believe um yeah so i was just speaking from real life experiences been told give a different perspective my perspective was about how the girl doesn't trust me and Bansoul's uh, perspective was about how he doesn't trust the girl because it's a real thing in our generation. Um, Kwanza na Baba, you know, there's older dudes who just have more money than you and there's nothing you can do about it. The, yeah, they were kina nyinyi. Mshaji sort mkotuma ali different. Like there's nothing I can I hope do. You're not, I hope you're not referring to yeah, me. Yeah, there's nothing I can <laughs> do about my financial situation <laughs> as opposed to him. Like if he wants to pay for my girl's trip to, to the Bahamas, he will. Me, I can't pay for her trip even to yeah. Mao, you know, my only advice would be wait, yeah. wait until you get to this stage. Yeah, even me, when I become a baba, <laughs> you're gonna see me. <laughs> that the younger dudes, I want. If you're watching and you're t- five, six years old, no, I will test <laughs> you one day. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about you it. You can yeah. do about it. Your pockets will be struggling. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's a fun side of uh, yeah, charisma. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. so much story to, to the music uh, yeah. and, and ten absolutely fantastic songs. Yes. How, how do you describe the style of music? And I don't just mean putting the music in yeah. a box, but rather yeah. describing the different elements that make up the sound, the style of the music. So there's there's something new we're doing. Um, my my we have a new group is called uh, called the Kodon Clan. Um, it has myself, Ben Soul, Okello Max, Costa Juang, Watenda Willi, That's mm-hmm. Israel Onyache and Yoya mm-hmm. Tajiri. Um, and Modekai from Hard the Band, and we're just we have a new sound, we have a name, a new name for our sound. It's called Aban Banga. Aban Banga. Banga. Wow. So it's okay. It's, it's, and what, are, what, it's what, what elements consist? It's pop. It's African elements, mm-hmm. um, predominantly Kenyan elements, rumba, the bangers, the all that kind of stuff, and just putting an urban twist to it, you know. Um, it's not very defined. It's not in the sense like that it, it's banger, banger. Mm-hmm. So we are going with banger. Mm-hmm. No. It's African elements, fusions, and all those kinds of things, just in an urban way. Something that the young guys can relate to, something that um, Kenyans can relate to as a sound. And so it's urban banger, man. It's just oh, it's like beautiful, that. flowing, flowing music. I like that brand. Yes, urban yes. banger. banger. Yeah. Yeah. And that collection of artists. Oh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a yeah. And there's amazing things coming group, from yeah. us. There's uh, the, yeah. Just um, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I like that. Look out for. Yeah, no, Aban Banga. Banga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, we're getting the full experience of the album uh, The Motions by yes. Charisma, amazing Kenyan singer songwriter. This is his debut album, but there was yeah. there, there were two EPs previously, yes, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah? yes, yes, yes. There are two EPs. What is called with love, charisma. What's that one called? Oh my God! What's what's the name of my other EP? Beneath the surface. Beneath the surface. Oh Lord. Yeah. yeah, guys, I've moved on to other <laughs> things now. I'm in a different phase of my life. And they're uh, all available to stream. Yeah, everything is available yeah, all yeah. over the world, Fantastic, whatever you want to yeah. stream your music. Um, so th- the thing is, I think there's been so much growth in terms of me as a person in, with the music even, um, and to where I've gotten to. I think I'm I'm a pastor's kid, so a lot of times when I was making my music, I was very cautious, I would say. Of, you know, of of what of the old man <laughs> <laughs> okay so, i mean he provides for me and everything. but how do you say that your old man is, is like no, your biggest he's great he's my biggest supporter he's yeah. my biggest fan but like at the end of the day he's still my father mm-hmm. so there's things even as I, d- I express myself i was very cautious but i think the older i've gotten the, the more i've been able to express myself in ways that i want to express myself and i think he also appreciates it yeah he might not agree or love everything but he supports and appreciates it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout I, out to your old man. Yeah, man. I love my dad, man, and my mom. Th- those, yeah. I would and never like. And and you're so privileged to have both parents here. Yes, you know, like yes, I, I yes. saw someone post on social media yes, the other day that yes. the fact that you can get a call or call mom mm-hmm. or dad count yourself yeah, super super yeah, lucky. Yeah, it's not, it? yeah. especially like, and I think for for me at my age. It's a privilege. What's, what's your age anyway? How, how old are you? I'm, I'm, I'm old enough. <laughs> I don't want, I put, don't put, want put him on the spot. to feel like, oh, he's <laughs> not ours. I don't want millennials to feel like, oh, he's not ours. But you're, you're certainly not a, for all of you. Yeah. And what about the boomers? 
Yeah. Even those ones. <laughs> but those I can't be a boomer. Boomer is far, guys. Make, but make, make us feel like no, we I are, like, I like make we're, music we're for all, all of you. Yeah. So I'm we're old. Saying, we're old. There's, no, all these are, there's all these no way are, my age can be boomer age. Yeah. Do, you, do I look like a boomer? No, but I mean, your music is, hey. is, is yeah. Is, it, it cuts across. It cuts the across. Yeah. yeah. There's grown up music. I know, there's, I know my age. There's bangers. There's yeah. I know all my kinds age, of things. Yeah. My age could be. I mean, it could be confused for. I know you're, you're only two categories. Which is what? Millennial or, or Gen Z? Or, and, and Gen Z has to be like the older Gen Z. <laughs> yeah, it can't like just, be. Yeah. Like just about to transition. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cannot yeah. be. Yeah. Because I've been singing for 10 years. How would I be a Gen Z? Yeah. So we yeah. can we can work it out. Yeah. We know we, we know <laughs> when, when we know when you're in college. Uh, we know approximately oh how long it took you to study for. Okay, you, guys, I'm 28. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Did Let's you graduate with your law degree? Yes. So did you go to the school of law after no, that? No, no, no. Why? Said, let me, so <laughs> listen. You could um, you could specialize in corporate law. In oh as, no, as no. Let me tell. I tried. Oh, the problem with uh, you know I've, I I always thought music was an easy thing to do. Like I could do it with anything, but I when when it got serious, I realized you have to choose. It's a, it's a full time job. I yeah. used to miss yeah, office, yeah. and my the lawyer the the senior counsel used to hate me. So I had to quit at some point. I was just like, yeah, I'm going to Choma, my name. And I, my dad had helped me get oh, that Oh, so you were actually going to, yeah, to an office? Crazy, yeah. So with, with your dreadlocks? Like, yeah, yeah. Like so Bob, the thing about dreads... You know yeah. the famous lawyer, yeah. Bobby Mkangi? Yes, yeah. Mkangi. Yes. So <laughs> the thing about dreads is as long as you can tie them, you yeah. can practice. But that time when I was doing it, I, did I... No, I mean, it's so cool to, to be practicing law with, with, with locks, yeah, yeah. Uh, as Bobby showed us. You know? Yeah, but let me tell you, so listen, yeah, it's, it's something you're able to do, but you know how Kenyans are. But yours are kind of long, huh? Yeah, but now they are. These like are eight years of locks. Whoa. Yes, yes, yes. This is my identity. There's a lot of people who've, who know me, who are just from the music, who've never seen me with short hair. And I hope they never do. Yeah, do you have a picture of yours with... The without without there, the locks, but the, the world we would we would never recognize the you. The right? world will never know. <laughs> that's not charisma. That's ma. So <laughs> no charisma. So the, here's yeah. the thing. So you yeah. went to an office. How how long were you? Hey, well, I, how how I long were there, you the lawyer? I was there for about six months. Ah, I okay. hated it so much. And this was still the period when you were with yeah, the band. With the band. And, you yeah. see, and I think the thing that destroyed law for me was being in a, in the music actively. Because being a musician is so much fun. And then being in an office from eight to five is so boring. I even have a, there's a file that <laughs> cut out my hand. I still have that cut up to today. What a file. Yeah, I was just like. What are you doing? You, you, you know you're, how we're annoyed. Let me tell you, young councils, our work is just to carry files. Yeah. You, you Why do you carry those long files? I mean, yeah. they're, they're not digitized. I, I'm just like, bro, I, when, 20, when the 21st, why are we still carrying files? Why is he carrying those big briefcases anyway? One hundred percent. I agree with you. 100. I don't get it. I don't and get it. And they make me carry. So <laughs> I remember our office was in CBD, and this guy had never even used to drive. So we used to get out of the office and walk through Uhuru Park. Yeah. Up to Milimani <laughs> Locals. Him is just walking. Me, I'm there with like twenty files, <laughs> chasing the man. And you can't remove your your suit. Yeah. So that suit, the thing about um, a law, like even in courts, I think it's the judge who tells you guys if you're, yeah. you can remove your suits. And that's mostly like in places like in the coast and wherever. Mm -hmm. I'm smelling like a goat in the, in the, in the court because I'm tired, I'm sweating, and I can't even remove the coat. And it's not like I'm about to say anything. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Wow. Crazy wow. business. Wow. Crazy business. Wow. Crazy business. Wow. Crazy business. No, I'm, I'm, I'm even shocked it lasted that long. Yeah, know? six months. Yeah, it's my yeah. <laughs> Living in your father's house can do a lot of things. Yeah, you will yeah. stay in the office. Yeah, I don't even know where we are with the music. You know, like, <laughs> you know, like let's just Somewhere. play some. Let's Somewhere. play some music. Play you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what shall we do? What shall, what shall we um, play? Let's play Weevil. Ooh. One of my favorite songs on yeah, the album. Yeah, that's song number two on the album. Yeah. What did I write about? Yeah, oh, this is you and Uaya, right? No, 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 this is me alone. Oh, okay. Weevil is just me. Oh, okay. So I think the thing is, so Uaya did background vocals on the song. Uh -huh. Yeah, he did background vocals together with Clark King and a, an amazing, amazing, talented lady called uh, Zawadi. Nice yeah. song, nice song, yeah. So Thank this is two on the motions. Yes. Charisma is called Weevil. Oh, so that's UI on, on background, yes, yeah? Yes. Oh, is, is that you on background as well? Mm. 
it's it's both of us both of you in background yeah, yeah. yeah. so just to explain how this works yes. is that you do the lead vocals and then you do the background yeah like so sometimes s- i do the background how, how does yes. that work so i do the lead vocals sometimes i do the background vocals but i just something that i adopted is i like the different uh, i like different people doing the background vocals because it gives a different tone uh-huh. So that's the different uh-huh. tones kind of help but, 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 but you, to song. you got you are so versatile. You could yeah, just sing yeah. in a, in, a, in a different song. Yeah. But it, it takes away the redundance of how the song uh-huh. sounds. Okay. Just different new vocals feel. Okay, this is cool. It's like when you listen to a collab, you don't get tired because there's there's many different vocals on the song. So it's just it's like cheating the brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not that I can't do all the background vocals on the. Yeah, it's just, yeah. But you, you just need a bit of yeah, yeah some bit of variety, a bit yeah. of yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm. And the best background vocals are done when you're are, are they sort of like improvised when you're playing it on the. Um, on the, you're hearing it on the headphones. Yeah, and yeah. No, so th- I think the, the greatest ones are the ones you don't. For me, for like the album, the greatest background vocals we've had are the random ones, where we're in studio. We've even finished recording most of the background vocals, and then someone just sings something weird, and we're like, ah, that sounds amazing. Let's put it, and then we put it. So like for the first song I released on the album, my lead single, which went amazingly, it's called Sinanoma. Mm. There's that. I love that very catchy yeah. tune. Yeah. Yes. There's the intro part. The Neri, neka yeah, great that song. part was never meant to be on the song. So I remember we were leaving studio, and Uaya just was started humming something. That, I'm like, do that again. Like I forgot, and I'm like, no, you can't forget. Remember. So he did it again, and I was like, yeah, we're putting that on the song, and we're gonna do harmonies on it and everything. It's always the most random things that make the greatest part of the song. The ones you never planned for, they end up being the best part of the music. Now that you've mentioned the song, let's just hear what it sounds yes, like. Because no. the vocals are, they are, they are yeah. killer. Yes. Yeah, she just shared a memory there. Yeah, yeah she wants to what's... distribute my photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, without the dreadlocks, huh? Oh, I've got to see that one. So we just played Sina Noma, catchy <laughs> tune. Sina Noma, my guy. Great yeah. vocal arrangement. Yeah. I hear a lot of influences of, of BN on this one, right? Yes. Uh, Salty Soul vibe yeah. there, eh? Um, I grew, as I said, I grew up a lot to these guys. Um, I don't think I would have been a musician if Salty Soul was, were not musicians. I don't think I would have and that's a, that's come a, that's on a great this compliment path. To them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yes, I don't think I'd ever have been on this path and believed in the path of being a musician without how it is well. So yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of, and I think you'll feel a lot of their influence in a lot of um, the new generations mm-hmm. of music. Mm-hmm. A lot of us have that influence because who, I mean, Eric Wainena was was great, but for a lot of us, Eric was when we were much younger. Mm-hmm. So how it is all popped when we were in our teens. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. our, tea, our early teens. That, that means so much, isn't it? When you're, oh, you're at that, that age, direct influence. I yeah, remember the Laz- when Lazizi dropped, man. Mm. I was like, I've never heard anything like this before. This is the most amazing music I've had in my life. And then they put out, um, the, 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 there was Lazizi, which was massive, massive for me. Then Blue Uniform. Then later there was still the one. Oh. That I always say, I always say that song is the one song. Even if it was released now, would still be a proper hit song. Like that song, the sound was ahead of its time. Mm. Just how they arranged that music. But when you, I was, I remember, I was young. You've cosanaed with your girlfriend. And pardon, I could feel baby vile vile crying my heart out. That girl who I thought I'd marry. <laughs> Shame you, on me. You were too young to entertain those yeah, thoughts, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's so good yeah. to hear those stories because yeah. it's very... We've seen Saudi Soul sort of come full yeah. circle and I was uh, interviewing Chimano in this very studio yeah. just last week and he yeah. was saying that the lessons of what they went through that like the next generation yeah. to learn from those lessons yes. and to have a smoother path. And they're doing so. such a good job in terms of just mentoring with their yeah, gigs yeah. soul first and just... Mm being available for people to to reach out to them because that me personally like someone like bien 
even after my concert, he called me yesterday, just to big, like two days after, just to big me up. He's like, bro, I see every, like, and he DMs me a lot just to say congratulations, good job, you could do this. There's times he scolds me, this is not the right way. Not even with the music, just character wise, like this, <laughs> these things that you're doing, you don't need to be all these places. Mm -hmm. Stay home, make music. Mm -hmm. Because I like partying, he was like, yeah, you don't have to be everywhere. You know, like they've become proper, proper mentors, which is amazing. And I think that's one thing we need in our industry is more people who have been there for long enough to talk to the younger guys. I've, you know, the other day someone was telling me, do you realize you've all, you're now at the point where you're almost like, or you are a veteran. You've been a musician. You've been producing music for 10 years. So there's a lot you can impart on the, on the younger guys, like guys who are in their twenties who are coming in and whatever so i think it's something important like even the culture they're building of just helping out younger guys and people finding their way in the industry i think it's something really really important that's really yeah. good we we are delighted to have the exceptional charisma yes. visiting with us in the studio today's yeah. debut album is called the motions but there's two eps yeah. you need to look out for and plus his music with laban so yes. i mean you've got a whole no wonder that person was calling yeah, you a veteran yes, man you've been I, making music I, for I, a long I, time i've been yeah. doing this thing though <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this album is a solid collection of top songs yeah. and I, I love the collaborations you've mentioned some of them Killer max yeah, we haven't so mentioned trio mios on the Mio, album yeah we did a song form man probably mm. we'll we, we should close it from from the yeah yeah the people who like Great to bash song, yeah. that's um people who are just like me and Sio is a talented guy. I've I've said ever since I made the music, I think he's the most hardworking musician I've worked with. Sio is always in studio, and he's he's so diligent with his work. Like even when we're doing the album, man, he came for practice. Came, he wants sound check. Like he's so he's just on top of business, yeah. and it's 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 so amazing. So now me. that's the the generation whose hand you yeah, should hold, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. But it's so amazing just with someone like Trio, with how young he is and how hungry he is. You know, when I was that young, <laughs> as I said, me, I was chasing girls. I was chasing vibes. <laughs> Trio is just a workaholic. And it's such an amazing thing to see. And I think Trio is one of those guys who are going to take Kenyan music really, really far. Yeah. Really, really far. Compliments to Trio Mio. Uh, yes. and let's hear what that song sounds yes, like. Please. It's, it's song number five on the album. Yes. So this is Charisma featuring Trio, Trio Mio. Mio. This is uh -huh. now a real, this is a real banger. Uh, isn't it? Proper. Yeah, yeah it really yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, performing this was so good. What? Form. As in, yeah. As in form Nigani. Form ni ukuje. Kama unataka form kuja lewa. Kuna mambo ya kesho. Kesho iko na stick. We will know about tomorrow when the day comes. Yeah. But for today. Live for the moment, yeah? Yes. Form. Charisma mm. featuring Trio Mio. Yeah. Trio Mio. Yeah. I, I love the horns too. It makes the song, oh, yeah. song very yeah, lively. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it has a dancehall element. Yeah, dancehall element. Yeah. 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 Streetwise. I mean, yes. like so many elements in yes. that. Yes, yes, man. So this is now the proper definition of, uh, yeah. what did you call it? Uh, Urban banga. banga yeah. Urban banga. Yeah. Mziki ya kusonga. <laughs> Had to buy a t -shirt. Wow, yeah. So I was talking about all these collaborations. Great yeah. lineup of artists. How did you pull that off, having such a diverse group of artists fit into your project? Or you're just that guy who's, who's able to bring people together? Okay, so I'm that guy, one. <laughs> <laughs> I knew but it, two, I knew it. Two, two. <laughs> but number two is also we have relationships with this guy. So a lot of them are my homies and are people we've wanted to work with together for a long time. Others I've worked with before already. So like, um, it just made sense. It also feels like a family project. Like the people on the project are just my my, my guys, you know. Yeah. Um, and it, it was so easy to work with all of them. For um, I had a sold out concert um, close to I had seventeen hundred people plus people uh, on uh, just over the weekend, and all of them came on stage and performed with me. So like they're really my boys. They're really people who'd come. Oh, to I thought you were going to say all seventeen hundred people came on stage. No, no, no. <laughs> I would never. I would even never. even you wouldn't pull yeah, that one I off. Would yeah. Not try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. But I mean, the concert was very successful. I'm, yeah. I'm it just was successful. judging by it all the reactions. Yeah. It was, was wild too. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. Oh you are, man. You, are, you had to pick up a lot of undergarments. Yeah. From, yeah. From, you yeah. drove the ladies crazy. Huh? Yeah. 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 Um, it, it seems they kind of love me. 
Yeah, but I, don't, not, I didn't know. That that contradicts what you just said earlier about musicians. Yeah, and, yeah. And, um, no, I, you life, see, so. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm a bit shocked. I'm gobsmacked. I, I didn't know. <laughs> you discovered. Yeah, yeah. I'm just discovering this now. Is this what it feels like to be a musician? Do ladies <laughs> love musicians? Find out in the next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, so, but, but congratulations. Thank I'm you so much. Put, and you were just talking about how much effort and how much work and how much devotion and dedication and resources yeah. two months comes into like that it off. ended yeah. like two months ended in a couple of hours i was just like can you imagine we've been stressed for two months yeah. it, it feels, it's it feels like an anticlimax yeah like in, in a really strange it's way that calo, let me tell you it's that calo <laughs> creatives have when you do something massive and yeah. you have so much adrenaline while doing it and then it ends and you have such a low moment because you're like okay what next yeah i, I mean i struggle after i do an interview like yes. this and I, I need to I'm not productive for like one hour because you just yeah. yes you had a plan but yeah. you know, so much no, energy has gone into it's this. It's happened now. Yeah, it's happened then. Yeah, that's a, that's a big struggle. I don't yeah. like it. So what what how do you pick yourself up? What what's, what's the next? Do, finding more next things step. to do. Yeah. Hopefully finding more, and we have more things to do. At least to be fair, the benefit is we have an album we're pushing and yeah. we have music videos to shoot. And so yeah. there's so much work to be done. Mm -hmm. As I said. It's not just releasing music. Now figuring out the music uh, business mm -hmm. side of it mm -hmm. is what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. And kind of learning um, that we need to push the music consistently for a period, you know. So that's what we're on. So the work, it, the concert work is over for now. Uh, but this, the, the music needs to be sold. My product is there, is out there. Mm -hmm. I need to sell it more. Mm -hmm. I want to be everywhere. So that's, that's the work we're work, that's what we're working on at the moment, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, yeah, we were speaking about those collaborations and you've got so many, I mean, even in the EPs, uh, you've yes. recorded with so many artists through the years, Nviri, mm. Kamba Boy, Super Mbidi, Kamba, yeah. Superman, yeah, yeah. love Mbidi, man. Yeah, I was interviewing Saru like several months oh, ago yeah. and she told me about the Roomba that yeah, you did. Yeah, I've yeah, never yeah, heard yeah, the song, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Saru like, wow. and I have a song, it's called Roomba and Saru. <laughs> I love it, man. I sang, the Queen I of Genge uh, yeah. that uh, Saru she's, she's so incredible. dope, yeah. she's really good. Hey, well, I think we should video in Bali. Hey, what you call? Sjuta Oh, God damn it. oh, that's that's where she comes from. Yeah, right? man, up on called, the hills. Yeah, I was called. I was told we're going to have a video shoot. So I'm like, okay, when? And they tell me dates, a couple of dates. I'm like, what do? You, why are we shooting for all these days? So we shoot one day. They're like, we're traveling. I'm like, to where? Taveta. <laughs> yeah, but it was amazing. It's a good experience. A good yeah, I mean. It. And, and the video Saru's shows vibes, it, yeah. Yeah, 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 and Saru is proper vibes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Saru, uh, trio, oh. I mean, that generation. Leave music. them alone, leave the, boy, the kids alone. Yeah, the music They're is crazy. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you have every reason to be upbeat about this album because yes. it's such a good listen from track one to Thank track you, 10. Man. It's not predictable. Every Thank track you. is different in style, in delivery. Mm. Mm. The only constant is your voice. Yeah. Like, that's the one thing that doesn't change. And and it's, it's I know, you see, when, when you put out content, I think for anyone, you you're always a bit anxious because you don't know how people will receive it yeah and i think people have really really received this album well it's been number two on apple music for, for since it came out um it's been doing mad mad numbers on spotify everywhere like it's just it's performing beyond my expectations and hopefully it continues and it does more and more and more and it's, i'm happy i'm genuinely happy it's always a great thing for a creative when whatever you're doing when people receive it the way uh, they receive it and love it for just what it is, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And people, when, and when people resonate with a product that you put out, it's one of the most amazing things. And I think I love that they have. So yeah, yeah. Great album, fantastic. You, yeah. Man. And uh, now the tough task of promoting the album. I know you've been performing. You've just done the one big show. So yes. There'll be more to come. Yes. Hope um, we want to go on a tour. Um, local tour. I want to go to every part of this country. Take, take this product to the market. Yeah, I want to yeah. take it to every part of this country. Hopefully, we get an international tour or international yeah. tours just to share this music. Like, I really want to do this thing the right way. I really want to. I don't want to wait for a couple of years so that yeah, I'm able to do this massive. Th I want to start doing them now, mm -hmm. even if not at the level um, those people in Nigeria are doing, just to the level I can push myself. Um, completely and make sure I've gotten to every corner that I can get to. Yeah, yeah, yeah and you will. Thank you, man. Absolutely. Thank you so yeah. much. Santi. Wonderful. Yeah.
I'm Bill Ojidi. I've been enjoying the company and the Thank wonderful so music much. of an exceptional singer, songwriter, performer, producer from Nairobi, Kenya. No hey. one that is called Charisma. Hey. His yes. debut album is titled The Motion. Yes. Stream it wherever you are on these digital platforms and access uh, you, whatever it is that you, you access the music from. Yes. And all that remains for me to do is to thank you so much, thank you Charisma, because me. you've taken the time to come to the studio. We take I love it. none of that for granted and we're yeah. so honored by your company. Thank you. I also appreciate the invite. I don't take it for granted at all man thank you so much for the support for listening to the album for sharing the album um i appreciate you guys so so much love yes so what's the last song that we're going to play man okay i don't yeah and, oh did i compliment no. you on the outfit i like it's oh, so cool yeah. man like uh, this is big dripper wow Drippy is that is that the designer no 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 that's me oh that's you <laughs> that's you <laughs> the boy drips too hard <laughs> okay I yeah that, but that's yeah a designer right yeah I, I think we could finish with um Shere with the kello max yeah. yeah cool song that's song number three yeah yes wonderful yeah so cool to have you thank you so much man and to see you again Bless Dri- up. dripping with so yeah, much style yeah. next time i'll come with something else something I, I'm, also. I'm sure yeah yeah we come could on, we yeah. could dress you know, the you know. same for the next interview absolutely yeah, yeah. thank you to, man we, we need to look the parts <laughs> 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 yeah.